I'm Forrest Saunders standing in the state capital of Tallahassee. The weather here just fine, but in South Florida, they are bracing for more rain. It comes after at least three days of tropical downpours. Florida's governor making a stop down there with emergency officials to say they are ready for recovery and the next round. We are in the middle of tornado. Over the last four days, 18 to 20 inches of rainfall recorded in parts of Broward and Miami-Dade counties. Water inundating roads, halting traffic, shutting down airports, and affecting, the state says, perhaps 500 homes. There's going to be more rain today. Governor Ron DeSantis and other Florida officials in SoFlo Friday to survey damage and reaffirm that more help is coming. That's as crews have already pumped out about 12 million gallons of water. And Florida Commerce activates a pot of $3 million dollars for bridge loans to help impacted businesses. Very, very rapid response led to the reduction of destroyed and major damage to homes. Emergency Management Director Kevin Guthrie said the damage to date wasn't likely severe enough to qualify for a FEMA declaration, but small business administration aid was more likely. I think the testament here is to the cities and the county and the state for coming in and getting this done as fast as we did. There is, there's, there's not the damage that we saw back 15 months ago. Florida Democrats, meanwhile, using the rain to hit Republicans for a new law removing the words climate change from state code. The vehicle that I was in went afloat because the water, uh, the streets were so flooded and the water was so high. House Minority Leader Fentress Driscoll told us the culture war fueled by DeSantis and the GOP majority ahead of November's election needed to end. Floridians have real challenges that they're dealing with. And so the governor really should be focused on doing his job, not being out there trying to, you know, be a campaign manager and raise his own profile. DeSantis, for his part, pushed back during the Friday press conference. That new legislation, he said, not about climate change, but about energy priorities. It was a substantive piece of legislation to say that in the state of Florida, our energy policy is going to be driven by affordability for Floridians and reliability. But politics aside, it's Mother Nature's arena for at least the next few hours. As we said, the state is still collecting data on the amount of homes and businesses that were impacted. But as soon as they have all of that information, they will be able to potentially unlock some of those grant programs and other assistance that the state has in its coffers. That is the latest out here at the state capitol. I'm Forrest Saunders reporting.